the reason to come to Barcelona: the gastronomy, Jordi Fernandez, the weather, or the great economic offer that the club presents to you. <laughs> um, I think it was a mix between you know Jordi talking to me about the club and the city and the type of basketball that's played here, and I had a lot of guys that um, were Illinois graduates that played around Spain, and they told me it was a great league and uh, this is a great club to be a part of, so I was excited for it. Okay, and um, how do you get on with the rest of the team and in Badalona in general? Um, I love them, like these guys, it's just a team full of great characters and funny guys, you know, um, it's great that they all speak English as well, so that, and they help me with my Spanish a little bit, so, um, and they, you know, when I first got here, Goran and uh, Demon, they showed me around the city, they showed me around Barcelona, showed me some spots to eat, and uh, Jordy gave me some contacts out here, you know, for if I want to ever want to go around Barcelona. So I'm really enjoying the city. It's difficult to work with young players. Uh, not, not all the five for five players yeah. are young. It's difficult to work with them, or it's easier. Um, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, you you gotta kind of teach them a little bit. You know, and you know, when I first came out, obviously I was a young guy, and I knew kind of, you know. My first year overseas, it took me a little bit getting used to it, but they've been playing overseas for a while now, so that's one thing that's good about them. You know, they're young, but they're experienced as well. Okay. And did you expect such a great start of the season? Um, you know, I, I didn't really put my expectations up there. I just I wanted to make sure I got better every day, and I wanted to make sure that you know I was doing what I whatever I could do to help the team win. And uh, the way we practice and the way the coaching staff gets us prepared, I, I really feel like. You know, we definitely deserve you know the start that we've gotten so far. And what, which goal do you think that the team has? Um, just to get better day by day. You know, we, we really don't want to um, focus on you know too far ahead. We kind of want to take it week by week. You know, and we're five and one now, but we got a tough tough few games coming up. You know, starting with Sunday with Real Madrid. So you you dream that we can dream to go even farther than now, or we think we think that we need to keep calm and. Oh, um, it's great to you know think about the future and obviously the playoffs uh, something to think about but you don't want to look too far ahead you kind of just want to focus on you know what what's in what's in grasping position and right now I, I think I, we got a great team coming in on Sunday and as long as we keep getting better I think we got a good shot on Sunday okay and how about you why do you wear number three um, I wear number three I grew up you know some of my favorite players were Allen Iverson and um, Dwayne Wade and, I, and a lot of people said that I kind of played like Dwayne Wade when I was in college and so I kind of just stuck with it and you know it's a number that I've worn the last few years throughout college and uh, um, you know summer league and my first year overseas. And uh, do you enjoy uh, playing in, with the Peñas play that you uh, you uh, you made a lot of three three pointers? Yeah I, I like the style of play I think it, it really suits my game and you know, it's a, it's, we got a great coaching staff. You know, they, they really helped me um, kind of figure out, you know, what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, and at the same time, they kind of give us the freedom to be able to play our game the way we play. And I think that's, you know, a big part of our success so far. Okay, we were looking at the internet, and uh, you have been nominated Mr. Basketball. What did what it means to you? It means a lot to me, man. Like, because a lot of the guys before me, you know, um, Derek Rose, Kevin Garnett. And uh, a lot of the younger guys, you know, Jabari Parker won it this, this past couple years ago. And um, it just means a lot. You know, my mom made it my goal when I was in high school. And I didn't really think it was, you know, that big until it kind of started, my name started getting mentioning in the in the press. And it, it means a lot to me. And why you give it them to you? It's, uh, why, what is this, this um, Mr. Basketball, which is? Um, this? Um, it's basically the top, you know, male player of the state. And you know it's it's a very prestigious award, and uh, you know if you look at the long list of guys on it, you see that a lot of the guys have done have gone and done great things in their career. So you know that just gives me a little bit more confidence and just keeping you know getting better every year. Okay. Do you have any funny stories from Jordan when your father was here as security guard? Please security guard. Oh, I mean it was it was a short time that he was a security guard. It was like a. We were at a basketball tournament. You know, I knew I knew I knew his kids growing up, so he would come to a couple games. And my dad has a has a military background. He's a police officer, so you know, one game they kind of asked him to you know help them out with security because there's a lot of people trying to you know get around him. But um, you know, it's, it's I don't, I've spoken to Jordan a couple times, but we're not real. We're not as close as people might think. You know, I'm real close with his, with his I kids. I suppose that you, you was younger. 
you were younger and you you feel so happy to 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 meet Jordan and for a for a little boy in and also yeah. in the United States it's a great thing. Yeah, definitely. I, I played with Marcus when I was you know 14, 15 years old, and then Jeff, the older son. I played with him in college, you know, and I, I saw Jeff uh, for a couple of days before I came out here. I was at a friend's wedding in, in Portland, and um, I remember one time. I saw Jordan. We were at we were at a basketball tournament, and he was kind of walking out. And he was, you know, everyone was trying to get his attention. And he, he looked at me. He looked down. He looked back at me. He looked down. And he said, "Oh, he said, what up, B? Uh, did you guys win today?" And I was like, "He said, yeah, we won." And then everyone around was like, "Oh, you know, Jordan, you know, Jordan." And I was like, and I was, I was really young, so I thought I was real cool after that. <laughs> Now, what do you, what do you like doing in your free time? Um, I'm a big show watcher, you know, because I, I had a couple injuries in the off season. And I wasn't able to work out, so I, I watch TV a lot, and you know I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of you know binge watching. I watch a lot of Netflix and different movies, and I also like to go bowling. I haven't been bowling out here, but I know there's a bowling alley um, down in Barcelona, which I'd like to check out sometime. Hmm. And have you seen any child game of any team in, ba in Barcelona? Any what? Any oh, child game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I so came here. Do it or all the clubs? Yeah, I watched the younger team play and. Um, They unfortunately didn't win, but I saw a lot of the guys, you know, that I see walking around after practice. They got a, a lot of young players that are, you know, they got a shot to be to be good later on. And then my friend came and I watched him play. They played at Barcelona, the second team, and it was, it was it was a good team. I'm talking about this child, about the children. What do you think about the crowdfunding campaign that we saved, we live in basketball, we saved you into the model? Um, I think it's great, and I think that you know anyone that can help out will de definitely be helping out for a great cause. You know, this this is a city that loves basketball, and, and that's part of the reason why I came to Badalona. And I and I can see from the fans and you know, and, you know the type of messages I get on you know social media that they really care about basketball here. Okay. Uh, last year, before uh, the game against Barça, Demon told us that uh, they were looking forward to playing against them. And they managed to win the game. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible to beat Madrid this week? Uh, I definitely think so. You know, obviously they're a great club. Um, they've got great history, and you know, it's, it's a very tough team. So they're going to come in here, and they're going to they're going to be ready to play. So as long as we stay focused, you know, obviously, um, I think we all have the confidence that you know we have a chance to beat them, and that's you know that's what we're going to come in here to do. Do you think that it's more difficult because they lost uh, yesterday against Kimpi, or it's the same? Um, I think it really doesn't matter what happened, you know, before Sunday. So we could be five and one or one and five. All that matters is that we show up ready to play. Okay. Uh, do you think that your nearly future is here in Badalona? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I, I really like this club and you know what I've seen so far, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. But you know, like I said before, I'm kind of just focused on you know what's happening now and whatever happens in the future, it'll, it'll happen. And what would you like to say to the to the fans to the match against Real Madrid or for all the season? Um, you know, just to come out ready to be cheering for us. You know, we really feed off the crowd's energy, and um, you know, we, we definitely appreciate any support that we can get. Okay, and for finish, why do you always came with this uh, special like I don't know what it is really the scooter? Yeah, the, the scooter. Oh, uh, I thought I, I used to see it when I was back home. I saw a lot of guys, a lot of guys have it, so I decided to buy one. And um, you know, sometimes I might be tired after practice. And I don't want to walk, so it kind of it saves me the trip. It saves me a few minutes to get from here to my apartment. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, thanks. And yeah. Good luck. Thank you.